Hi, my name is Sebastian and in this video I will show you how easy it can be to navigate through your report in Pivot Monitor with the help of the Info Mode, aka Tooltip. But on top of that, elements such as line charts or text fields that can reference to each other due to same data binding are also highlighted. There's absolutely no need to change anything in your report. This function is ready to use in Pivot Monitor. Would you like to see a sample? Keep watching. Okay, you got me. The info mode is nothing new for you. You can activate it in Pivot Monitor as soon as you select a data point in the diagram by pressing the control key. The tooltip displays characteristic and measurement attributes and even the actual value from your selected data point. You can copy your measurement attribute and paste it into the measurement selection to filter your measurements. And you can even navigate to report pages with further references to your characteristic. For quality control, this is quite convenient if you are using a part-specific report. And if you would like to see your report pages with more detailed information about your characteristic for further analysis. Nevertheless, there are limitations. On the referred page, there can be different characteristics. Thus, it would be difficult to identify the right element. And that's why we have upgraded the info mode. The referred page will now highlight all the elements that belong to your characteristic. And of course, this option can also be deactivated. Let me show you in detail how comfortable it is now to navigate through a report. I prepared the report from our PyWeb samples to make the benefit clearer to you. As you can see in the table of content, my part-specific report is divided into different areas of interest because I like it structured. On my second page, there's an overview of all measured characteristics. To open the tooltip, I hold the control key and click on the characteristic with my left mouse button. Then the tooltip opens. By clicking on the blue arrow, I will see all further references to this characteristic. And these are report pages where data from this characteristic is also shown. Instead of navigating now through all my report pages to find anything about this characteristic, I can click on a reference and the page will open. By the way, if this arrow is not present, I can activate it in the settings of the tooltip. Okay, we want to see the page with the line plots. As there are several line plots on this page, it might take some time to find the correct line plot. But luckily, ours of deviation 12 is highlighted now. You can also lock the info mode in the menu. So I go back to page 2, lock the info mode in the menu, and now the next time I don't need to press the control key to open the tooltip. Let's have a look into our statistics. And even in tables there will be the highlighting too. Deviation 12 is highlighted now. So no more searching on overloaded reports. Within the menu you can also go back to the page where you came from. And last but not least, you are also able to deactivate the highlighting by clicking on the light bulb. Then the report will be as clean as before. And that's it. Speed up your workflows now. For more hacks and tutorials, check out our YouTube channel and see you next time.